Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence, so viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everybody. Strap in and grab your plush toys, because this this is where the game starts getting a bit more intense. I've got mine. I've got my cinnamon bun that I haven't named yet, <laughs> but it's super soft and plushy. Well, remember, you're the one controlling the mouse. It's gonna be so... on my lap. Okay, well, anyhow, let's continue on. Tons of stuff happened last time, way too much to recap. We're now at 4.19 a.m. Okay, okay, that's Everyone's actually- Everyone's still awake. It's, <laughs> this is like 24 of the TV show. They don't sleep. Oh, I forgot about that. Chapter 16, 4.19 a.m. I thought this was like 5.30 a.m. when this happened. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Good! Cabanella got to the hospital. That's good. Yeah. Hello? This is Jode. Cecil, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Nice to talk to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is the last trace. Trace completed. Oh, no. The luxurious parlor became the control room. Mm -hmm. Well, you better get going. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, it looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Okay. Pigeon man. And at the other end of the phone line... I'm finally gonna find all my answers. I'd better go. Oh, it just makes us go. We can't go anywhere else first? Nope, I don't think we can go anywhere else for the rest of the game. It's darn. A single telephone line connects me and the other Sissel, but that single line spreads out like a spider web to ensnare the fates of many people. Yep. And I just reached the center of the web. Welcome to the Yanoa, Detective Jowd. My detective sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Jowd. <laughs> Godot should have done that in the yeah. game. <laughs> I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. Egad! Never thought you'd track us here, especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. And I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation, a submarine, eh? But how did you find us, my man? Not even the police knew whether Yanoa was going to surface, confound it! We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. That explains a lot. I have a little something for you. Cabanella has given me some pretty weird presents in the past, but they always prove useful. This one was a radio receiver made to look like a pocket watch. Hmm, yes, Inspector Cabanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way, where is that man in red? I know he's on this submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? Oh, hey! You! You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. His shell, eh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely, right about now, he's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please let her go. Bah! 
There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer. The source of his powers! What? What in the world was that? The Temzik fragment. It gives spirits special powers. And now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? Tisk tisk. What a mistake to make, right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. They can just rip <laughs> apart the, fate, the submarine. That's awesome. What in the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jowd! Where did he go? What? What now? Did we hit an iceberg? I think I heard an explosion oh, okay. somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. I smell danger. I better find them, and fast. Trick time! Oh, that's Missile? Yeah, talk to him. Oh. So you're here, huh? It's Missile! Yes, I think even I remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course! I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog! Well, with my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla! Do you think that trusty nose of yours can sniff them out? I'm sorry to say I don't think I can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So let's go find that lady detective and the little lady together. You got it! Bring, bring, bring. Bring, bring, bring. The telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camilla! I just know it! My trusty nose is practically screaming it at me! I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to that phone before it stops ringing. You bet! Trick time! Oh, they're oh. the exact same thing. I don't think it would do anything to swap. Probably not. Love this music. This is actually, I think, Jout's theme. Oh! What, what are the evil blue man group doing with basketballs and hammocks in their submarine? Just in case we want to play a little game of touch football. <laughs> My good man. <laughs> Nicely done! I'm getting the hang of video games. Yeah, you are. Darn it! We're too late. I think I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. Sissel, look! The black hello! It came off the hook! Uh-oh. I better answer it fast. Yeah, because I think only Sissel has the ability to go across telephone lines. It's her, the little lady. It's Sissel, where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess she can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh god, I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn, Lynn is... She said Lynn. Miss Lynn! We'd better hurry. Let's go, Sissel. Go there, stay here. What else are we supposed to do? <laughs> we can't there? do anything. <laughs> where are we? Well, Lynn's dead, or supposed It's no use. Nobody's answering. Oh, she drowned. Okay. Uh-oh. Miss... Miss Camilla! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn! 
Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy has happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy, I knew you'd come! Miss Camilla, Miss Camilla! And Missile too, I'm so glad to see you're alright! Well, I wouldn't say I'm alright exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm, that's right. Camilla has a core now, so that means she did hear Missile's voice before, when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Camilla, I'm so glad I was born as your little doggy. Hey, Missile, could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need my powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it! Thank you, Missile. Trick time! I wonder what happened this time. I better talk to the little lady a little more. And then... I better do something about the detective lady. Her name is Lynn, dude. Come on. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, yeah, Sissy? Could you tell me what happened to you? Of course, my beauty. <laughs> what happened after I last saw you at your old house? Oh, let's see. After that, I think I fell asleep. I woke up to the sound of an engine. So she was already in the submarine by then, eh? I thought to myself, I have to escape! The next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I was so tired, I couldn't move. And then... Camilla! I was so relieved, I... I don't remember what happened after that. She must have passed out. The poor Fane. You've been through so much. You were very brave. I think Lynn's probably been more through more than me. You've both been brave. A Turn the wheel, oh. baby. Okay. Eh. Yep, that worked. Haha, -ha, I died again! <laughs> <laughs> probably. Oh, Sissel, you're here! Lynn, what in the world happened here? I, uh, don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead! Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Jowd? Is he alright? I... I don't know. Huh? The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. After we left the super, super the supper's office. <laughs> after we left the, the supper. supper. After we left the super's office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with the radio transmitter, Inspector Cabin. Inspe Inspector Cabanella. I can't talk. <laughs> Inspector Cabanella fired into him with the bullet. Elma Fudd, meeting my friend Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the man in red took a boat out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jowd and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. How? Wow! How does that even make sense? That's this one thing that doesn't make okay. a whole lot of sense, because he has ghost tricks. He can see when people... Or maybe he can't. I don't know. And then we sneaked onto the submarine with him when it surfaced. Maybe he wasn't using ghost tricks then. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Jowd and I decided to split up. He would take care of the phone line, and I would look for Camilla. I found Camilla hiding here in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. Wow, that's quite an adventure. What happened next? I don't know. Huh? There was a flash of white all of a sudden, and the next thing I knew, I was dead. Oh boy. Sounds like it'd be quicker just to see for myself. Okay. Whatever it is, she's dying either by explosion, then drowning, or drowning. Four minutes before death, South Yanoa engine room. Camilla, are you okay? Someone took control of Cam Camilla? <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Or is it detective Wait, now? We shouldn't it's been have ten years voice. since we last met. Nope. It shouldn't? Nope. Okay. 
Are you... Are you really that man from the park ten years ago? Well, well. I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back! She has nothing to do with any of this! I'm afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Well... Knowing him, I half expected as much. That's why I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted, to be executed by his own daughter? I heard about ten years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge?! Nobody could possibly know what I've- What in the world? An explosion? Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Look out! Oh, well, looks like she got crushed by rubble to death, not drowned. That's better. Revenge, huh? That's a feeling I just can't understand. But why is there water down there now? Of course not, you're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? He was going to shoot Detective Jowd. As Camilla, when he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Anyway, let's bring you back to life. Again. Wake me up inside! <laughs> Have you heard that song? No. No? Oh, one of our brothers would have loved- uh, loves that song. You didn't have to add the again part! Yeah, I kinda did. This is the fifth time you've died tonight, Lynn. Yeah. First you died to a gun, then you died to a gun, then you, then died, you died to, to a, a machine, gun. and then you died to a chicken that was falling on your head. <laughs> <laughs> now this. So let's see, the cause of death this time. Was that mysterious explosion? You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins! What do you mean, for a dead woman? Anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. Alright, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a detective. I'm afraid for my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. Oh, great! Anywhere. Well! What's up, homie? How are you holding that, like... Gatling gun behind there. Camilla? <laughs> it's been, been ten years. years. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for <gasps> him slash her to cock the machine gun, I guess. Yeah. Were you... You... you be, be, no. Still too far away. I was going <laughs> to read it with, like, a terrifying little girl voice, but no! It had to be a vessel! It's a dude possessing her. Yeah, but... Normally, if you have a possession, that still means you'd have all of the normal characteristics of that human oh, being. Oh, I always pictured it to have the guy's normal voice. I mean, if you can, that's cool, but... It's, it's not, not for me. me. Nobody ever calls the dead. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Yeah, I know, I know that doesn't work, <laughs> but... You had your chance nobody, in Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Yeah, that's kind of close to your creepy <laughs> voice. <laughs> I might have to censor that, if because I can't guarantee people have seen our Ace Attorney. It might be the, wh whose voice was it? Nobody knows! Nobody knows! knows. Watch her over the last place oh, to find out. Trick. <laughs> it's no use! I can't get the line to work! That's funny, I thought I could use the phone in the past if somebody was calling. What are you talking about? The receiver has to be off the hook first, silly! Well, don't look at me! I can't do it! I don't have any hands or feet right now! Somebody please answer the phone! If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Okay. Find a way to answer the phone. Let's turn all of the machines up to high. <laughs> I don't know how close to do it. Well, we've got the option to turn a bunch of stuff. Booyah! Man, that submarine was not designed very well if the wheel just fell off. Hey, we somehow managed to knock down the receiver! Somehow managed? Who's to say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry! 
Siri, now's your chance to get on hang the phone. On, hang on, I just heard a sound effect. I want to make sure we're still recording. Still recording that. Still recording that. Okay. I heard a boom, and I wanted to make sure. It might be Detective Jout. She's right. I better check it out. I'm not sure Jout can call where he is. Hello? Anybody there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here on the double. We're about to head out. Speak up! Why won't you answer? Anyway, come if you're coming. We're leaving. Go there, stay here. I mean, there's no reason for us to go there. However, I do want to see what happens if we do go there. Okay. I think this means that everyone's evacuating because the ship's about to, like, hit something. And then I go, meow, meow, mm, And then, okay. like, there's the water there. I want to see what's happening. So it must be true what they say. But there are restless ghosts on board. New info has been added. That does it. I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. <laughs> wheel, wheel, wheel. Who is he calling restless ghosts? Well, it's true neither of uh, one of us is really resting in peace. Anyway, it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. Hmm. I guess that means the fate of this sub has changed slightly. Fate change. How does that give us more time? Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? It's Detective Jout! What's going on there? I saw this little deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in red is about to get his Temzik fragment taken away. Trick time! How about we get it for ourselves? Oh wait. I don't get it. What's happening? They decided to conclude the deal without the other party present. They're just going to go ahead and steal the Temzik fragment. Huh? But that's... That's cheating! I think we have more important things to think about right now. Where's the Temzik fragment going to go? Damn, but we turn in valve! He's just gonna turn all the valves up to maximum. Ooh. See where we're see where yep. we're going with that? Come on. Now I got it. There we go. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Is it on a conveyor belt? It's on a conveyor belt, yeah. Ha. Uh, let's just hang out on it. Sure. Boing. They've got a smaller ship in the beer ship. And every uh, all the crew is crammed in there. He gets his own seat, though. <laughs> ah! The Temzik Fragment! You're mine at last! Okay, easy, buddy. Stop caressing it. <laughs> Stop rubbing it on your nose. The objective has been achieved. Now we detach the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. That's when that thing happened. Yep. Sissel, what just happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Jowd in it. Don't worry, Lynn. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. The main thing right now is rescuing you and the little lady. I can't believe this is happening. Now then, I'd better hurry along before Sissel discovers what he's lost and comes after me. The Yanoa will be his coffin. Is he shooting torpedoes? May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. Oh, so he's trying to drown everybody. We were only trying to drown her, or whatever it is for Peter sure. Pan. Sure. <laughs> yep. It's full of water. whole crew. Oh, that would make me so claustrophobic. Yeah. Actually, submarines in general would I don't, freak yeah, me out. exactly. Aha! So that's the cause of the giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo! It's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure. But a different missile comes more readily to mind. It looks like he plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something before the torpedo's fired! 
trick time. So I guess we do have to go over here. I mean, we could lower it. The first dialogue. We can't just let it launch. But what can we do? Let's just get the torpedo as fast as we can. Maybe we can find a way to stop it somehow. Somehow? A true detective never gives up. Well, we certainly can't just ignore it. I think it is annoying how it's just like, Hey, we managed to find the ship, isn't that great? And then you're on here. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, gotta hurry. <laughs> There's no time! It's gonna launch! Don't worry, we can still find a way to stop it! What? How? Even though the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope! Why was the I hope at the end the strongest part of that sentence? Okay, here goes. This is like Spy Fox. <laughs> Way more intense, though. Why is there a rat? <laughs> there are rats everywhere in this game. Poor rats. How did the rat even get in there? I don't know. I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. But was this really the best move? I think so. We just have to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How in the world did it get in here? Trick time. Okay, oh my this, gosh. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a save state right here because this is a pretty tricky puzzle. Stop. I think the outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. The spinning black things, right? Apparently, their spinning helps the torpedo main its, maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights to our advantage somehow. Hold on, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Let's view the dialogue before I make the save state. Do you know how a torpedo works? No, I can't say I do. Wow, detectives sure know a lot. I saw it explained once in a book. On impact, the fuse in the tip is, is depressed. That turns... Uh, that in turn sets off the detonator. Which is that thing. The detonator, huh? That must be that red button. So how do we stop it? Hmm, they didn't explain anything about that in the book. Wow, detectives sure know a lot. Or not. Okay. Now I'll make the safe step. We can stop it, we can operate it, we can do that, we can stop it? We can stop the gyroscopes. Let's hit stop on those. Very good. This is probably the detonator. Hey, don't press it! The torpedo will explode! Uh-oh. Better be careful. But, you know, there should be a safety device some around here somewhere. Safety device, huh? That sounds promising. We have to put it on the safety before this thing blows up. Probably the joint. Probably. There's nothing else. What? Hmm, this looks, this looks like just the thing. If we clamp this thing on the fuse, it should keep it from moving. Uh, so what does that mean exactly? It means we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand all the details, but I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that... Looks like we have to get something out of the way first, huh? Oh, yeah. So there's this is a tricky puzzle involving the weights. The gyroscopes. We need to get the mouse out from one of here, right? Or the rat? The rat, yeah. Do you know how you're going to do that? We need to get him out one way or another. And that way is probably the best option. So we're going to hit what stop. You... We just have to get the- what? Start the one on the right again. No. Okay, now, do you kind of see what you have to do? No. Oh, yeah, neither did I when I first deployed it. I don't see it at all. Okay, um, put both the gyroscopes, stop them both at the top. That's the bottom. No! We're almost out of time! At this rate, we're going to blow up the submarine! Uh-oh. We have to set that thing safe, 
safely, we have to set that safety and keep the torpedo from detonating. Okay, whenever I hit stop, it the other one goes. If As soon as you stop them both, they both start again. So you want them both on the top and you have to do them both at the same time. You keep doing it when it's at the bottom. I know, I can't tell. You stop it at the top as opposed to the bottom. It's pretty easy. Okay, they're both stopped. No, that one's about to start again. And you just... Yeah. Oh no, we're out of time! Damn it! We couldn't stop it! I'm sorry, Camilla. I'm sorry, me. I'm sorry, rat! I stopped them both! No, you okay, stopped, go, you go stopped one and you stopped the other and it was at the bottom, which starts them both yeah, again. Yeah, I can't get the... Okay, let's go back to the thing. Okay. I need to just stop it at the top. This is so... You need so... to stop both of them at the top. You just... Yeah. I can't get it to stop at the top without doing that. Okay. Come on. There. Got it. Just like that. Why does that do anything? What? That doesn't make any sense! It tilts the whole torpedo down because both the weights have to fall at the same time. Great! We've dumped the little creature off. Wow, those weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for the safety device. Right. That one took me a while to figure That's out. That's dumb. Okay, the joint, I yes, assume. Yes, the joint. Boom, it can't pull, go forward now. There, we clamped the safety device on. We did it. That should keep the torpedo from exploding. But there's just one problem. Problem? What's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh-oh. What was that noise? Hmm, it looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine's still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats! Sissel, we did it! Fate averted. Well, the rat is still stuck in the torpedo, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that happened. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from, from blowing up. But we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. Hmm, you're right. I guess... That's just what missiles do! They're unstoppable! Huh? Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right, I'm worried about Camilla. Here's the thing. How much oxygen is put in a submarine before, like, leaving? I don't know. We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. Water is seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit. Great, this is gonna be a timed thing. I've gotta get them out of here. I better go meet up with Lynn. Trick, Trick time. Each of these free machines is equipped with a fan. Now that I take a closer look, it appears there are two sizes of fans. I better hurry over to Lynn. It's not safe to stay here. And I just don't have the power to stop that water from coming in. The lights went out, but this machine apparently still works. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long, but maybe I can use its movements to help me create a path. Trick time! Yeah, stay there for a bit. Oh, now I see it. Yeah. Lynn! Camilla, you're awake! How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed the gun at you. Don't worry about that. That wasn't you. Miss Camilla! Oh, Miss Soul, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Camilla! Miss Lynn, what should we do? 
We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missile's here, er, Missy's here too. I'm so happy everybody's gonna be with me now. Even while I'm drowning. Camilla! Miss Camilla! I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do! Oh, I think I'm gonna cry! Or whimper, as the case may be. I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here. Before it's too late. Trick time. Yeah, before she just, like, takes her down. Yeah, there's dialogue. Yeah, I was... You can't move the camera while you're in ghost mode. Okay, I said I'd get you out of here, Camilla. But it's so dark, I can barely see. Now what? Out of ideas already, eh? I think she's asking for my help. I should send her a signal. You're already on the flashlight. I just wanted to... Oh, look at the flashlight! It's Sissel! He's here! Up you go. Lynn is a boss. Yeah. Where are her parents, by the way? Camilla? No, Lynn's. Uh, Lynn's like 20. She could be on her own. I guess. She has her own apartment and her own dog. <laughs> I guess that's true. I'm glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. Looks like this room is going to fill up with water fast. We better get out of that door as quick as we can. We won't be getting out the door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as the force of water holding the door closed. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in there. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Okay, got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. It's a ladder. It's a step ladder. That's a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the ladder. I wonder if we can get uh, get it down somehow. Good idea. Let's try it. Oh, and by the way. Yes. I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. How do you become a detective if you can't swim? I feel like that's pretty basic. I, like how do you training. live if you can't swim? No offense. You live away from water. Still. You live in Texas. Uh, may maybe yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or more like Oklahoma or like Nebraska. Live, live in somewhere the middle of... in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Water. Don't you have any good news for me? Hmm. Let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? Trick time. Like, if we, if somebody where we lived couldn't swim, like, that would be a disaster. Um, we also live in a very wet state. No. Well, we could talk, actually. <laughs> yeah. There must be a switch or something that somewhere that lowers the ladder. Provided the person who de designed the sub didn't miscalculate the, sh the ladder length. I didn't even consider that possibility. And I have to warn you, I can't swim, neither can Camilla. Yeah, you already told me. Cool. Don't say that with like a grin on your face, Lynn, come on. Handle? She's like, oh, who cares if I die? Sissel can just save me. You could be a jerk and turn off the flashlight. <laughs> I don't know what does what. So yeah, let's turn it off. I'd better leave the flashlight on. If I turn it off now, Lynn won't be able to see. Yeah, whatever. Oh, um, wait for her to try See if she'll move the flat. Uh, maybe that won't be far enough. Oh, you can go up. Fuse box, hook, door. Move the hook. Switch. Oh, I wanted you to move the hook. You did it, Sissel. Thanks. Is this gonna be like the unfinished swan where the minute she gets up there, the water's just like, <gasps> and then like fills up? How is that like the unfinished swan? Have you, did you ever play the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that part. You don't remember that part? Nope. You only, it only fills up with water when you're walking through the wood. Do you remember that part? Like right before the King's Dream where you're going up the thing and there's like all the black water coming up. No. And you can't go backwards. Okay, fine. What was that? It looks like the water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Sizzle, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are bad or something. 
Hey, I know, you can fix it with your powers! Okay, now that's just taking things too far. Trick time. Oh, thanks, they're great! I don't even know what I just said. Great! Did you use- did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? Can't talk. That's a cruel question, considering the circumstances. Now all we have to do... Is get out the door. Is get to the door and we're safe! Ah! Oh my gosh. Um... What in the heck is happening? Poor Camilla. Poor just, Lynn! Lynn just landed on top of Camilla. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, poor, poor both of them. Ow. What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to rear up on its hind legs. I can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky, or we're dead and just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the latter could be true. What now? The water sure is rising fast! Come on! You'll just have to go up, up to the top. Let's see how I can help with my ghost tricks. Trick time. Well, well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. Sissel, there you are! How's it doing? How's it going? I'd say it was going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous the situation is, don't you? Of course, after all. Just ask anybody who knows about how much I hate taking a bath! Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. Okay, ready to create a path for these ladies? Of course! Trick time! Yeah, this is where it starts getting a bit intense. With the water rising and having to help them. No, we're not gonna swap those. Those are the same exact <laughs> gear. <laughs> That's a larger gear. Why are you using the arrow keys? I'm trying to make the camera move. But I can't. You can't! You're in the ghost world! Sorry, I forgot. They only told you that at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> um, I don't know what... I would not swap those. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. You want the big gear on the bottom, I think. But I need to figure out a way to get up there. You know what I mean? No, I don't. First we need to get them up from here. I don't know how to get up from here. Well, you're not really doing anything. I can't even talk. Okay. I have to use missile. No. But I don't know what to swap with. You could, there's a large gear on the top. You could put that at the bottom, for starters. See? Th that gear is larger than the others. See? Large fan. Okay. What, what are you I'm trying doing? To, I don't know how what you're asking me to do. Swap the freaking fans! <laughs> do you see how the one on top is larger than the one okay. on the bottom? Now I'd swap the one in the middle with... Yeah, swap those two. Now swap the one in the middle with the one on the bottom. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what that will accomplish. I'll also, everything, that. yeah, everything you've been doing has been with Missile. I can't do anything with Sissel. She's about why. to pick up the flashlight. Oh. There. Oh, you can talk to her first, though. Go up is easier said than done when I'm holding Camilla. I know. We're gonna try to create a path for you somehow. The water just keeps on rising. Please hurry! 
Oh, and by the way, did I ever tell you- You can't swim. Neither can Camilla. Oops, I already said that, didn't I? Okay, well, good luck. I'm gonna move- Yeah, you're gonna move, uh, missile. Now tr try starting everything here. Yeah. And what this is gonna do is because the larger gears are on the bottom, the smaller ones are on top, it's gonna make a nice little staircase for them. There! How about that? Oh, well, this is great! You made a staircase for me! Literally would not have even thought of that! You better hurry. I don't think that water is gonna wait for you. I don't really want you to have to restart. Yeah. If you can help it. Thanks. I didn't realize what that was gonna do, so... Well, we did it earlier when the ship, or when the submarine was not tilted sideways. That's a lot of steam. Ouch! Now the steam is getting in the way. It's too hot to get through. What? And there's no way to go around either. Think you can do something? Of course we can! We have to. You might need missile again. Woof woof. Woof woof. Yep, that's missile. Yep, that's crock. No, I don't want to swap. Oh, you might have to wait for those pieces to go farther down. Or you could try moving up from there. Um, yeah, maybe try to spend as little time outside the of the world. ghost world as possible. Okay, so there's steam pouring down from those, and there's steam pouring up from the ones on the bottom. Look at this! If I swap the pipes! It changes how the steam comes out, huh? Oh, I get it, because the cracks in each pipe are different, right? So each pipe sprays them out the steam in a different way, eh? I bet that'll come in handy. Okay, so that one's still spraying steam, so uh, yeah, sw yeah, swap those. Swap, uh, go back. See what, what they're like now. Okay, uh, <laughs> swap that one maybe with that one, yeah. Now see what they're all like. Okay, nope, that one's still bad. Okay, swap that one and that one. Alright, now what are they like? You'd be fine if I'm going through that first part. Go... Go up, up, up and around. See if there are more of those. No, there's not. Can we swap these two? You try that. Nope. I don't remember the order that these are supposed to go in. I thought we had the right one to begin with. Go back to Sissel, see if he can get up here. Use the Transformer again. Starter, yeah. Operate that, because remember, that's kind of what we did last time. Okay, wait for that to go around, I guess. Great. Thanks, game. Here comes that water again. Oh, I wish I could drink it all up for you! No, Missile, it's too salty! Uh, I think the more relevant point is that he's dead, so we can't drink it. Whatever! Just do something about the steam! Leave it to me, Miss Lynn! <sighs> thanks, Missile. We had to watch the cutscene again, so we'll go back and start it again. Wait, oh. Are you kidding me? I have to go that all the way dumb. back down? That's dumb. I, I'm sorry, it wasn't my choice that the game decided to show us the scene of the water rising. Alright, wait for those to come down. There. This little short range is kind of a damper. Yeah. Okay, see if you can turn the wheel. See what that does. 
So by closing this valve, I've shut off the steam flow to that first pipe. Okay, cool. So the one that's spewing steam in both directions needs to go there. That one needs to go here. All right, see what it's like now. Okay, swap. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, so get off that one. Swap this with the one right down there. Yeah. So go so back. Intense. Go back. Oh my gosh. Why is this is dumb? Oh no, the water's getting really close now. Not that I can see all that well with all the steam here. Missile will switch the pipes around so you can get across. That's right. Don't ever give up, Miss Lynn. My back is really starting to hurt. I don't know what to do. Like, which pipes? All right. That one is only spraying steam down. Okay, booyah. Oh, that's it? Yeah. There, how does that look? Oh, it looks great, all that horrible steam is cleared out of the way. Okay, it's not far now, try to move forward. The water just takes it, ouch! Look up there, if I can just make it to the door, we can escape! Now how in the world am I supposed to get up there? Don't yell at me. If you want to yell, you can yell at me! Missile. How can I yell at you when you're so sweet about it? Uh, I think you just did. Let's look for something to pull Miss Lynn up with. Yes, yeah, something to whisk Miss Lynn up and glide her ever so gently to the top with. Hey, are you being sarcastic? Trick time. Alright, number six, eight. Eight. A little switch, a little fuse box, a little a hook. hook. Curse it's Peter Pan. <laughs> All right, now this is what I'm talking about. I'm really glad to come. Okay, up. raise away. I'm really glad Camilla's unconscious for this. <laughs> Thank God I can carry both of them. Suddenly it just gets super high, yeah. Ugh! Sorry, I can't do it. Open it, hurry! Is that any way to ask for something? Sorry, missile. It's no use! I can't budge it! It must be stuck! Oh no! This way! He got it up? I don't even know what happened. Yeah! What even happened? What did we do? What just happened? I can't believe my eyes. Lynn and the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. And missile. Sorry, missile. The submarine continues to sink down down into the deep, deep sea. But I still want to try and make up any, my way up as far as possible. I still want to head up to find a single ray of light. Light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. Okay. That was something. Yep. Indeed. How are we gonna get out? Unless we'll we have to one. find out next time on Fine. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next one is the final chapter. It's chapter 17. Dang. There are no numbered chapters after that, so... I guess it all concludes then. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.